It's another busy week at MK Sports Cars headquarters. We road test the MK Indy R, RLM powered Hayabusa car. Then we put it through its paces on the dyno. We tour the workshop for project updates on the S2000 and K20 builds. And we demonstrate the first showing of our new tunnel top option. Don't go anywhere guys, you don't want to miss it. Right guys, we're here at RLM Racing. Um, we've got the uh, Indy Art Booster. As you know, we've been building this car over the last several months now. And we've got it on the, well, it's gonna be strapping it down on the dyno today to see, um, well, get it dialed in, get it tuned in, get the flat shifter all dialed in and working as well uh, in a safe environment, see what kind of numbers it is. Um, we know it's gonna be around a sort of 220, 230 horsepower number. So um, what we do now is head on, look inside, get some video action for you. <laughs> Right guys, back from RLM is the Indy R with the RLM engine in. I hope you enjoyed the dyno. It sounds bang, 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 bang on that flat shifter. Woo! Amazing. So numbers, let's talk numbers. You probably see it on the graph that we showed you in the videos and that, but the final numbers, where was it at? Well, it's 219 point something. So 220 horsepower, but 127 foot pound of torque. Now when you're talking Gen 1 normally, is like 175 horsepower stock. That's a massive jump. Um, so Rich and his team, as always, built an awesome engine. Customer's going to be super happy with that. Um, we will get a little test drive done on this, of course, and it's going to go off for its IVA, so it's all been mapped as well and done. Uh, but with this, this is freaking crazy when that thing works. Uh, it's just uh, on another level with that performance. Pfft, yeah, I can see why other customers have gone that route. Definitely, it's going to be an absolute track weapon. Okay guys, out test drive. MK. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, test drive, MK Indy. Oh! Hi Abusa! RLM racing engine. As we know on the stats, this bad boy kicks out 220 of your finest great horsepowers and 127 foot pound of torque. So it's pretty hot. The only thing it ain't hot is the temperature today. It's freezing. Hence the crash helmet, hence the crash helmet, it's freaking freezing, but I'm in here and I'm happy, why? Because we're driving a booster car. So what is that? A sub 500 kilo car, it's a body bush car, 50 wheel roll cage, 220 horsepower, 127 foot pound of torque. I went in built in, in as I've just said, seat cars on it, wheel woods on the front, standards on the rear, but it's got a flat shifter with it. I'll show you what a flat shifter is. Foot arm, flat, gear changes, seamless. That's six gear. <laughs> That's what's good about it. Totally flawless. Upshift, done. No problem, don't have to touch the clutch. Bury the throttle, 
away you go until you run out of road or track or circuit or talent <laughs> probably talent in my case there we go it's got a slipper clutch in here as well so it has got downshift on the auto clip but it has got a slipper clutch so i can get your change down and the clutch will help with all of that um so you can change it just helps protect the engine and the gearbox and everything else so you're very default we've got the dd2 i've got the jib lights ready to come on guys s2000 time f20c whichever way you want to call it all i call it is awesome engine so as you can see we've gone through this engine you probably see some of the process we did on a couple of short videos the other over the last couple of weeks really um detailed the engine it's been compression tested we checked it all down we've got a couple of bits left to do we're just waiting for um, a new pulley because the bearing wasn't we wasn't happy with the bearing on this so this uh, idler pulley which is for the belt tensioner, and then we can put on the last, last part, which is the belt. Um, so it's all clean, ready to go out, and an oil filter to go on. It's on the pallet, crated up, ready. Gearbox is all done, all fitted. Brand new clutch, all fitted as well. Um, so yeah, it's really pretty much buttoned up, ready to go out to PD with the rest of his kit. Um, and we know how well they go. Obviously, you know we've got an S2000 car for sale. They just go so well, and when they're cleaned up, with that awesome Honda Red uh, rocker cover. Killer in Manila. Right, here we are with the Indy, well, the next build, really. Uh, hashtag Mr. Nigel. Uh, on with that now, as you can see, things are starting to evolve in. Of course, the other builds are being buttoned up, but we've got a, one of the guys, Dylan, started on this one, starting on the next build as well, while we're finishing up those ones. So, front shockers are on. All the inboard guys, Protex is our go-to supplier on these, all aluminium, very lightweight, uh, nicely adjustable on these, you've got a nice damper setting on them, etc. Uh, brake lines, as you know, is all in. Um, this is all the brackets here, headlight brackets already for mounting in. Uh, your braided hoses all ready to mount up to the wheel with front calipers, all just plugged in there, ready to go. As you know, the billet pedal works went in last week. And now we've fitted all the fuel lines in and uh, the, well, it's the ECU mounting panel that we use uh, for all the fuse box goes in here. It's all cut out, laser cut on out if you're using our looms, all laser cut out, ready to plug and play and through the hole here down the centre tunnel. Moving on to the interior. Carbon, as Neil says, Carbonara. It's Carbonara time. Uh, carbon tunnel top, carbon side, carbon back panel. Uh, it's going to have carbon dashboard as well. It's cars me in black with some kind of camo wrap as we spoke about before. But this is looking really <laughs> nice and tidy um, as well. I mean, that's the choice. You know, what colour do you go for? I mean, there's so many options. It's crazy, but 
Nigel likes a bit of carbon and, uh, well, we'll fulfil his wish. Moving on to the, oh, the pretty rear end, shall we say. So what we got in here? Well, we got the 40 Sierra differential. Uh, it's a 392 LSD pushing shaft. Uh, our uprights, of course, in, that are in here. And then we've got a, four, a billet bearing carrier. That's on as well. Um, all the rose jointed wishbones. It's an Indy RR, so it's fully rose jointed right the way through. Uh, it's running stock calipers on the rear with uh, plain discs, more than capable for what this car is breaking. So the whole rear end is pretty much back together and finished, ready. We just put the handbrake cable in. Remember guys, you're going to 13 inch wheels. You have to go to the three coil caliper spring, not the four coil. Um, basically it hits the wheel. So we make these, we get them remade into a shorter coil, one coil less, and that will clear 13 inch wheel. And they're available on our website, or if you have any questions on it, give us a shout. But yeah, that, that is a must for going when you're going to 13 inch wheels. Right over here at uh, Hashtag Cyber, his K20A installation. A few little jobs as well, ticking them off on this one. Uh, what we've been on with, coolant lines, some plumbing lines going in, um, running up from the top of the radiator, etc. that comes back to a housing here. Uh, we're just making a new blank for that, um, which will be available parts for this build. We've got a blank in here. Uh, on this side, you don't see it, but it's just here for the send out. And we're putting another blank in here, which is normally a bypass. Um, that's just being machined at the moment. That's been done. All the wipers, motors put in, um, so it's under here. A little wiper motor tucked up under here. All of that's put in as well. Um, these silly little things, because it's going to have a screen afterwards, these silly little things are for IVA that we put on just temporarily. Um, they'll change to a windscreen and all of that afterwards. It's just simpler for us in terms of the process. Um, so, yeah, engine bay is getting pretty much buttoned up really now. We're just waiting on the, the loom. That should, I've been reliably informed, should be here very, very soon because I'm, I, I'll be honest, super excited to hear this thing start up. Um, yeah, I can't, well, too excited actually. Can't wait, can't wait. Right, moving on to the interior. You saw last week, guys, we've got all the four-way, uh, sorry, eight-way on this one. Um, Bluetooth channel that does all the indicators, lights, etc. Well, while we was here, we made a new product as well, um, which you can see here, which is our carbon vinyl, matches our boot cover, complete interior kit. Um, basically, it's a one-piece that slides over, gives you a handbrake gator, gear gator, um, it will pop rivet down below there, all in one. Gives you a nice, it's a nice thick foam panel. It's got a nice backing on it as well. So it's all backed up with a sort of eight mil foam in there. Um, it's 10 mil thick overall once it's done. Um, just gives you a little bit of creature comfort and looks great and it's so easy to fit. Just slides on in one piece. Very, very, very simple to do. And we thought, well, for the, it's, this is really for the RX-5 cars at the moment. We may look to develop other products for other things, but at the moment, the RX-5 one's done. These, if you're looking for one, we're taking pre-orders because they won't hit our doorstep. This is the first prototype one that will hit our doorstep basically in January 22, um, which sounds like a long way away, but it's only about a month or five weeks away. So, yeah, not long at all. So, yeah, if you're looking for this type of product, very comfortable, lightweight as well, super lightweight. It don't weigh much more than a little seat pad. So, yeah, we're extremely happy. And well, how it's turned out, I think just finish it off, tying in with a carbon boot cover, carbon uh, tunnel top, and of course we do carbon seat pads as well, to, uh, the vinyl effect to, to match it all. So, Cars looking tidy. Oh, one little other little thing. We even carbon sleeved the steering column here um, just to tie that in to match it all as well, which um, again, just a little bit more attention to detail on this particular car. Looking great, looking great. Can't wait to start it. Please hurry up with the ECU. I want to hear it run. Right guys, what another amazing week in a workshop. It flies by every single week. I hope you enjoyed the test drive and the RLM dyno run on that car. It's super powerful, 220 horsepower is always gonna get your attention. So yeah, progress on the build's continuing. Tune in next week, of course, and you'll see how this goes and hopefully we'll be getting a couple of these cars started up for the first time when the ECUs arrive. So, but also just tune in well, in two episodes time, we're nearly on to our 100th episode now, we're going to be holding a competition. So tune in for that, it's episode 101, that's going to roll out in a couple of weeks time. It'll be a nice little competition for you guys to enter and you can win some amazing materials that we're going to put out there. So it's a little bit of a teaser for you, but yeah, if you tune in each week and if you subscribe, even better, because then you enter into the competition. So that's it for this week, guys. Don't forget about the new product, we launched the Centre Tunnel. 
section. That's a pre-order product now, ready to arrive in January. So subscribe, like, and share, and we'll catch you next week.